Hello everyone and welcome to Burntoser Productions. I'm your host Burntoser and we're back with some more cyberpunk. Uh, I don't really have a, a side job for us to really uh, do because the beast in me is just racing and, and that's only so fun to watch. Uh, I guess we could go for I Fought the Law. Yeah, you know what, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Where is Elizabeth? V, I'm glad you called back. I really hoped you'd see the sense of it. I assume you're ready now to meet, talk about the job. Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I honestly, that last quest that I did, I honestly, I, I, I don't have anything to really add. That's just, that's there, I guess. I, yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. No, I'm C. Okay. God. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? <laughs> my time's pretty valuable. Pretty sure yours is, too. True. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Uh, not another one. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Fair enough, I suppose. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? 
Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Yeah, but that wouldn't be as fun. I will admit that much, at least. Uh, okay, what's this thing I'm looking for? Oh, okay, that door frame. They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Slow your roll. We reward NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prime, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. I'm Johnny. <laughs> oh. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. Okay, Johnny. Chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Yeah. Well, you just picked up on that? Prime, do it after the conference. <laughs> The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Okay. Done with that there. Uh, ah, PS2 car, no. Uh, okay, it was a horrible dream. Thank God. You're here. Fantastic. Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Rather not jump to any conclusions. There's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Sheesh, Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. I don't know why I was crouched that entire time. I. Oh well. Oh. Guess we can call River Ward. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. I'm conducting a private investigation into this matter. Good luck with that. And do me a favor, lose this number. I like PIs about as much as I like the Scopic Caliente. I'm no private eye. So what are you? Meet me 
You'll find out. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be they stat. What a charming name for a restaurant. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Liz Perales hired me. And her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Oh, boy. I don't like how the sewer just standing there like that. Kind of concerns me. I don't know. Maybe I'm paranoid. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see his boss first. The guy who can afford all the chrome he was decked out in should have the scratch for psychomuting meds, too. We better check it out. Okay. The sound design in this game, I will say, it does. Like, that, that sounds pretty convincing. Have you ever been in a vehicle while it's raining? Can I not skip? Okay. What the f. <laughs> what in the <laughs> a good ninety percent of any detective's job is talking. And the other ten percent, what's it consist of? Writing reports. 
Ah, fair enough. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Ow. idea who we're looking for gonna have to ask around I'll start from the left you take the right Christine Markov know her has a stall here don't know any Christine this isn't BD heads anonymous okay Christine Markov, Christine Markov. Where will I find her? no but I, know her. I know who she find is something? stand I'm with the tent out. over on the other side Well, at least the second person we asked had uh, you, Christine Markov, said something. No, she's over there. Stall okay. with the tech. Thanks. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges. Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for him? Sides Ryan? A uh, Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Beyond tell. Um, it's a weird way of saying it, but okay. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that, but sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail, means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Well, that's true enough, I guess. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claws. V. Fuck off. Okay, the game is lagging. And I really wish people would stop running in your line of fire. But then again, I guess you can't have a modern open world RPG, uh, action RPG with intelligent frickin' NPCs. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Have fun with your paperwork. I'll talk to my CI about your club, Red Queen's Race. Assuming you're still on board. You kidding? First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Okay. Uh, thankfully, they have this little uh, station right here that we can just fast travel pretty much to uh, the destination that we need to reach. 
What? It's just sounded like she either said football or foot long, and I. It's just a weird thing to exclaim. Outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. All right, wait here then. You looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Feeling tired, bored. Igor says hi. Fuck no! Said I was done. I was out. <sighs> Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed broke all my fingers. Fingers? I'll break limbs that'll make you forget all about those fingers. Start with your shins. Any idea how much that hurts? All right! Jesus! Chill, okay? It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. I'm headed straight for Benita Street. Coming with? Oh, let's meet there. Let's meet there. Fine with me. I gotta buy some stuff. And I also forgot that I leveled up. Uh, I think it was when Perella's, like after Perella's, that uh, pulled me to the side to offer me a job. All right, let's get her really expensive and uh, a fairly speedy car and then I'm gonna go and buy some ammo oh I'm so sorry lady oh P, do you have a moment need to talk I mean no longer moment can you come by the camp I have a problem on my way Phew. thanks that's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. All right, let's uh get that level up done. Um, could either go into technical ability, which all it has is some crafting stuff. And well, with the engineering, at least I at least there is also the fact that uh, you can get some immunity. But other than that, there's... Yeah. Not much here. So we can take a little look-see here at reflexes and uh, just see if there is anything we want. I think I'll be able to boost that to like 20%. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll just put it in reflexes. All right, we're finally here. I um, bought some ammo and uh, got some better mods on my weapons. Well, hey. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to him? 
Scratch their tummies? Don't expose your throat? Ha fucking ha. We're short of warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. Oh boy, finally some action. About time. I'll rip you up, Reed. No, you won't. You'll sit there and die like all the rest. Hey, everything okay? Oh, shit. Got spotted. Okay. Hang on, be right there. I'm getting too old for this. Then why are you doing it? Well, those meat chunks are uh, spilling out of his body. Too scared. So the clubs are out here somewhere. In the garage is my guess. Or under it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess just start scanning everything. Wow, literally the first thing that I scan. It's a funky door. Dude, come on. Get in. This is a long quest. Oh, come on, let's see nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Oh. Ah! My eyes! I got to do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a, a warrant. Right. What? Okay, I guess I gotta ask. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting. For what? Till they send us to scratch for a job well done. Smashed well. it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the payout. I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised. I get the intel I need. Half? But half, I can tell you how tall he is, but that's it. You sure? Half in your hand right now. Real scratch. Or the whole thing, someday maybe. But probably never. Uh, all right, scratch, now. Who told you to wreck the club and why? Weldon Holt! Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Get for the job. Thanks for the help. I'd like to loot you. Oh, well. I didn't realize uh, they were unconscious. That's the ish that was the issue that i was having i just did not know that it was them that i was talking to and i thought someone hadn't loaded in and i was just talking to air hot dog mm, yummy nothing says delicious like a hot dog in the middle of the freaking morning although in game it's uh I only got a little more XP for opening the, a door to the same frickin' place. All right. Mm. 
No, don't feel like it. Looks like an office, sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V, I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. He just floated at me. I don't. I didn't like that at all. Good lord, this game still has plenty of bugs. All those small stuff compared to what it was at, what it was like at release. What the, what am I doing? With this punk shot it harold i know what you did not about to ask why you covered it up not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with just want to know who gave you the order what's the matter river why do you even care your conscience is clear you can sleep tight at night you know why because i took all the responsibility you got no idea how this city works Think a goddamn inspirational, idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Bull fucking shit, Han. Fraternity of cops resembles a clan, not at all. Loyalty. A blood bond. Serving an ideal greater than the individual. Need I go on? V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. was right sort of he's just following orders even if he ends up paying for it the system won't change i can't let it go v i can't and i won't holt murdered ryan wanted his seat all this tritest motive in the book that's why i believe it 
Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Even if that's what happened, don't have any solid proof. Ticking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. I wouldn't suggest doing it personally. Don't do it. They'll sack you, or worse. Besides, it won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay, observe a little. Thanks, V. Oh, finally, this quest is done. Or almost, I should say. Pick up your damn phone. About Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Yay, more fast traveling. Although that's my fault. Ah! What the? Okay. Uh. We're upstairs. Thanks. Okay, open the damn door for me. Thank you. Huh. Just gonna tell you one thing. I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Oh. Well, definitely have art pieces. Why do you have them all at eye level, though? Well, I guess if they're, like, to show off. Okay, yeah, sure, but they're not, like, decor. In, in the sense of, like, this. Uh, uh, okay. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. But you must have an opinion. Jeff, honey, read between the lines. The case is complicated, but dying at home of a cardiac malfunction, that's not complicated. So we were right? Yes, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. That's what V's trying to tell us. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. Glad I could help. What about 17 grand for all of that work? Not too bad, I guess. Hey there. All right, well, yeah, we'll see if we level up again. Probably not, but I don't know where this was a long string of objectives. I would be kind of surprised if we didn't at least become uh, close to leveling up. But I don't know. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh. Uh. Okay, that's it, I guess. Did I get any XP? Come on, game. Really? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. This has been Burntoso from Burntoso Productions, and I shall see you all next time. Bye for now.